Hi, here is a review for Hanover House by Brenda Novak. This is a prequel to the Evelyn Talbot Chronicles, so it's 0 0.5. Now, the reason I got this book is because a few months ago, I got a book called Face Off by Brenda Novak. And that is the third in the series, so I wanted to read the first three titles. Now, let me read the prequel, excuse me, let me read the description and then I'll give you my thoughts on this book. The stunning prequel to New York Times bestseller Brenda Novak's latest thriller, Her Darkest Nightmare, described as gut-wrenching suspense by Karen Rose, introduces new series lead Dr. Evelyn Talbot. Welcome to Hanover House. Psychiatrist Evelyn Talbot has dedicated her life to analyzing psychopaths why they act as they do, how they come to be, why they don't feel remorse. Her only goal is to use her knowledge to find and stop them. Having been tortured and left for dead when she was just a teenager by her high school boyfriend, Evelyn's determined to understand how someone she trusted so much could turn on her. Establishing a revolutionary new medical health center in a remote town of Hilltop, Alaska, where she observes these killers is the final step in years of studying which will give her the answers she needs. Keeping these killers inside in the residence of Hilltop safe is Evelyn's responsibility, but it will only take one little thing to go wrong for the danger they pose to become all too real. The second book in the Evelyn Talbot series, Hello Again, is available to buy in paperback and ebook now. And as I just mentioned, the third book in this series, which is Face Off, is also available in ebook and paperback. Now, uh, also, I wanted to mention that uh, Her Darkest Nightmare and Hello Again won't be available until the 29th, so I won't be reading any more of the series until I get those two books. Here are my thoughts. Now, when I wrote the review, I, did, I didn't put in an actual trigger warning, but I did say this. I wrote, to be fair, I must warn readers that this book is incredibly intense. It deals with gruesome subjects like murder, torture, and rape. It's not explicit, but it is the basis for the series. I just wanted to mention that because, again, we've already heard or read in the description that this is her job is to try to get into the mind of these people. Now, she goes to this town of Hilltop, Alaska to a newly built medical health center, and her job is going to be to study the world's most psychologically disturbed minds. It's called the Hanover House, and it's the first of its kind. The question is, will she and her colleagues be able to really figure out why these men kill, rape, murder, and do other horrendous crimes? And if she's able to do this, then maybe she'll have a key to this type of behavior. Now, the story gets interrupted because, remember, it's a prequel, so it's, it's giving us the setting for the series. And it tells us about a time in her life when she was uh, kidnapped, tortured, and left for dead by her boyfriend at the time while she was in high school. Now his name was Jasper Moore and I, it's not really a spoiler but I'll tell you he wasn't caught. He changed his name to Andy Smith and she's still living in fear of him. She doesn't know who he is, where he is, or anything of that nature. But this is what led her to her career. Now the story also tells us how the town is not crazy about this whole center being built. And one of the ones who is adamant against it is Alaska State Trooper Sergeant Amarok. Now, Amarok is a key character in this, in the, at least in this story, and I imagine he'll be in the other stories in the series. Then when he learns that the main doctor is a woman, then he's saying, well, how is she going to be around so many dangerous men? So he approaches her, but one thing that happens is he's drawn to her. So now the whole situation with this center has become very personal to him. Now the story, as mentioned, it kind of shifts because it is a kind of a mystery psychological thriller type of a story, but there's romance involved because this Amarak is interested in Evelyn. And without repeating myself, which I already have, uh, the other books are all out now, the other three titles, and um, oh, I just want to mention one other thing. The actual Hanover House and the other psychologically disturbed patients, they're not introduced in the story yet. This is just a prequel. This is just laying the groundwork. 
But I wanted to share this with you in case you're interested in following the series as I am. All right, that's it. Thank you.